Those that have watched my other speed tests are probably sick of this building by now, but don't worry, it won't be in too many more mesh videos. There's only two more mesh systems left to go. Hello and welcome back. And today we're going to do that roundabout test of speed and coverage of the TP-Link Deco M5 system. I've got one of the bad boys set up here, connected via LAN and via power. And what I'm gonna do is I've deactivated the other two mesh points I've put in this building to show you guys exactly the difference between one and three mesh points in any given office or home environment. I'm in an office right now, and what I'm gonna do is move away from this mesh point throughout the building with just one mesh point active, and then I'm gonna do the same routine, but this time with three mesh points active. So, just to give you some idea, once again, do check out my videos on the hardware of this device, but without further ado, let's make our way through the building. Right, so, moving away from this mesh point here, we've already got quite good coverage there according to the application, and we're gonna move our way towards the rear of this office. Those that have watched my other speed tests are probably sick of this building by now, but don't worry, it won't be in too many more mesh videos. There's only two more mesh systems left to go. Carrying on forward from this, our connection is still pretty strong by the looks of things, but things will change as we go through the building because there's several walls that are gonna appear between us and that mesh point. If we carry on here, we've got the kitchen just next to us, and this is where we find our Google Wi-Fi from the previous video that I really do need to deactivate, and right behind me, the Linksys Deco M5. And again, that is not active at this time. So right now, the only connection we have is to that original mesh point. So it's gonna be interesting to see how this compares at the second half of this video. We're making our way down the end of this corridor. And again, this is where there's several walls where technically we're not actually that great a distance from the original uh, Wi-Fi point. It's kind of diagonally that way uh, to the right of that office. However, it's worth mentioning that between us and the office now, there's about seven individual walls, probably not thick ones, not that thick that these people can't hear me, but thick enough that this could really interrupt our signal. And it's clearly there in our speed test there at the bottom of or bottom of my screen. I don't know if you've got the same screen right this second. So moving forward, we're going to make our way deeper into this building because a number of you in my previous videos involving the VELOP system inquired about the lack of multiple floors being utilized. So in the interest of you know sating the audience. We thought we'd cover as many floors as possible. We're already seeing a lot of weakness in that signal. So right now it's gonna be important to see how a mesh system adapts to this because we're already seeing a little bit of weakness in our one uh, router point system. And we've already walked a fair old way in a winding circle of areas where it's not about distance, it's about coverage overall through all of those individual walls. So. We're still making our way deeper into this building towards where the third TP-Link Deco mesh point is going to be located. That is a noisy door. Moving forward, we're going to carry on deeper into this office where we can find over here our Linksys, sorry, our Linksys TP Deco, where it's going to be later in the video. It's deactivated at the moment. But right now, the original signal is near enough gone through all of those walls, which is gonna be pretty annoying for a number of you out there that have got you know, a large office space like this and need sufficient coverage. And this is where mesh really does grow. But what we're gonna do now is go onto the app, activate all of those individual deco systems and get this up and running so we can learn more about this. Where's that deco app? So we can activate those. Do you know what? You don't have to wait for this bit. I'm gonna get on that now. I'll move forward in the video. Right, so we've set up our TP link. We've got our deco mesh set, set work done and ready to go. So how about we start making our way through the building and comparing our previous results without mesh with our new ones that include mesh. So without further ado, let's get going and move away from that mesh point. And again, we're making our way exactly the same way we came through earlier on, but this time with a three point mesh network active. We're gonna move forward. And once again, I apologize for the sound quality, but it's worth mentioning very hard to control the sound in all these multi-layers of building. Moving forward, we're gonna carry on here, once again, back into that big stairwell from earlier, and we're gonna carry on through this point. Now, we're already moving away from that original mesh point, but luckily now, we're heading towards that new one that we set up in the kitchen earlier. 
the app let me activate all of those mesh points at the touch of a button, which was quite nice. Not that you should ever really deactivate them. And when I moved them from the original setup video, it's worth saying that the meshes did find each other quickly, which kind of reinforces that self-healing factor. We'll go into here. And straight away in the kitchen area, we've still got our deco system, but this time the deco is active. There's our deactivated Google, and there's our mesh system there. Pop that there. And again, we've already seen it pick up the new one there at the bottom as we knew that it would. And we can now move forward into that long corridor, which is creating all of those mini barriers earlier on. Moving forward, sorry, this is my third take of this video. Those stairs are not fun. We move away from there. Look behind us, we've got all of those walls between us and the primary mesh, but the kitchen mesh has only got two walls between us. That's the light that's going to keep falling down. We're just going to leave it this time. And we're going to move forward into this building. We're going to carry on here, move along the corridor. Again, we're still on that mesh point, and I can see there the number has spiked up massively there as we've gone through. That's the mesh point there. Now we can make our way into the original building. Going along here, further along, into the corner of this building. So the building, the floor. We've already started seeing the pickup there of that last mesh point there in the office, located there. And we're gonna make our way towards that and head towards the original mesh point that we had connected to the internet network. Because remember, that's the key point here. While we're doing this, only one of these mesh points was physically connected to the internet this one here it was physically connected at all times and this is the one the mesh there's all those land ports there that was the one that connected with the others via that separate node and then carried the internet forward so remember connection speed and internet speed are going to be slightly different there so do bear that in mind in your own network environment but this has been a speed and coverage test of the tp-link deco m5 very affordable the software not great it's all right to be honest it's, it's a lot better than some of the others out there could lose use some of the features of synology or the google wi-fi but i'm going to leave things here for the comparison next thank you so much for watching if you've got any questions or you know ideas about mesh that i've overlooked or how it compares with power line adapters do check out that video soon but otherwise thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time